Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Wild Offering Oracle by Tosha Silver and uh, we have three options here. We have the stone, uh, we have the shungite here and we have a rose quartz. So go ahead make your selection. It's either one, two or three and uh, you could go down to the timestamp where you'll be able to click on directly to your reading. All right, let's get into it. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we are asking, what is our Oracle guidance for the moment? What is it that you've come here to hear? And what is it that I need to know at this moment? So the card we have here is titled Doubt. It reads, offering to all the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises, but you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So for me, this card talks really about the the energy as we have been experiencing it recently. And I haven't done an energy forecast, but I want to say, that one of the energies that we might be experiencing right now is that we have some kind of relationship to the universe, to the divine, to God. And um, because we have this relationship, that things are going to go our way. So we have a blind faith and we know that things are going to go our way. We we have some kind of faith in what's going to, to take place, but then things don't go your way. And then you wonder why hasn't it worked out? Have you done something wrong in terms of your manifestation? Or have you been, um, you know, have you been spending time perhaps with the wrong company? You've been bringing the wrong energy into your life. And one looks around for a reason to, to, to blame or to, to attribute um, a blame to why, why you haven't had things work out the way you've needed to. But I want to say here that what's happened is that there's a good chance that you've got some blind spots where you haven't been looking carefully at your own thinking and at your own well-being. And um, you might think that you've got this in the bag, but you actually haven't realized that your, your own thinking trips you up in certain places. So you may have certain thought processes that prevent you from actually reaching the goals that you would like or manifesting what you would like or uh, creating the ideal circumstances that you may desire. So here it feels to me like one needs to actually look closely and listen closely to one's thought processes. What is one saying without realizing it? Are you actually behaving in a defensive manner when somebody or the universe or whatever, in whichever way the information is coming towards you to correct what it may, what you may be doing? Perhaps you are too afraid to make a mistake or perhaps you would not like to, I, to actually acknowledge that you might have made a mistake or that you're not on the right track and that maybe you have to backtrack and start all over again from the beginning. And because of this, the your initial reaction is to be defensive and to protect your ideas and what you've been doing thus far. So if you find yourself in that situation during this week, or if you have found yourself in that situation already, then I think it's necessary to be able to listen carefully to what is coming your way and what it is that you need to uh, understand uh, about your own processes. So don't just um, write off any suggestions that people may, may be making at the moment or any suggestions that may come to you um, that may at first feel uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, give it a second thought. Um, let it uh, sink in a little bit and then, you know, approach it with a, a rational uh, thought as opposed to uh, feeling prejudiced, feeling like you need to defend yourself. So the first sentence here reads, offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. So you might be feeling like you're doing everything correctly. You're doing the rituals that you'd like um, to do in order to be able to access that um, connection to the divine. You might have been doing everything that your seer or your psychic or your sage um, or shaman has uh, suggested to you, or whatever the scriptures have suggested to you, and things are still not working 
um, out in the way that you need to. And I want to say that this happens when there's something like that's on your nose that you cannot see. So it's like there's something very relevant to you and your thinking, which you are not able to see because you have somewhere along the line thought that this is right. The way I'm thinking right now is okay. Or you just have not been able to identify that that which is in your blind spot and you continue to live in a certain way. But if you have to look back at the last six to seven years or even the last decade, you would notice that it is this one thing that drives who you actually are. And yes, you may have made lots of changes along the way, or you may have um, developed quite a lot along the way. You might have come a long way. And uh, I'm not discounting that, and that should not be discounted, but rather to see what is that accompanying belief that has been with you over these years and how is that belief that you have that makes you uncomfortable to recognize? It makes you feel like uh, perhaps this is not me or this is uh, not who I am. You wouldn't see yourself in that particular light or you don't think of yourself in that particular way. It's a sort of entitled feeling that you have for yourself. Uh, Not to say that you are entitled in any way, but it's a feeling that you have, a belief that you have, which you feel entitled to. And it's about yourself, which is actually preventing you from actually making the the ground, the, the way forward as you've needed to. And I can tell you that from this energy, what I'm picking up here as I'm reading this for you, that you've been alerted to this many, many times. You've been People have talked to you about this. They've tried to um, let you know about it in subtle ways as well as not so subtle ways. So look at where it is and what it is that you have been have not been able to look at as yet, that you've not been able to change, either because it's too uncomfortable or perhaps you don't understand this about yourself. Perhaps you deny this, this attribute that you have. And um, perhaps it's something that uh, would require a very big change. And I feel that the change that would come about when you actually recognize this is actually a change that works uh, towards greater authenticity. It works towards actually understanding your strengths and your weaknesses better. It actually asks you to recognize what is important, what is really important here. Um, is it the, the what 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 is on the surface things such as status or is it something that's below the surface that's more important what is it that you can put your energy behind right now is it behind joy and peace and well-being or good health or is it something that's more superficial that's on the surface something that you need to actually um, f- feel uh, materially or show to the world. Now, one might say, yes, well, you know, I perhaps I have a, um, a desire to better my finances and this is not going to happen unless I'm I'm actually, I actually have some money and uh, I'm in a situation right now where I'm going to soon be without money or I've lost my job or I'm in a, you know, I've, this COVID-19 has thrown me into a kind of financial dire straits right now. And you know, um, what you are saying is not really helping me. How is authenticity going to be helping me come over this? Well, I feel like right now, whatever has been, whatever, you, if you if you are in such a situation, or if you are in a situation where you feel that things are not really moving along as well as they could, or you could actually have an improvement in your life, and you're fig- trying to figure out how to do this, and it's not actually working out right now, then I would say that Take a look at anything that you can do that's different from what you've been doing already. Because if you continue to do what you've been doing already, you're going to have the same outcome. And um, you might be saying, okay, well, I've spent the last few months, really have changed a lot and I've come a long way. And um, I've really, um, you know, made a lot of big, big changes and a huge difference in my life, but it's still not happening. And I feel here that the reason for that is because there is still work to be done. So perhaps you've changed a lot of things on the outside of you, but you haven't really changed how you really feel about yourself. What is it that you really feel that you are worthy of? And who is it that you really are? Who is it that you truly are? And what would the world say if they had 
to get to know who you really are. What would the world, how would the world react to you if you were to be who you really are? So this is where it's necessary for you to be authentic in order for you to be able to create something different, something um, else that's waiting for you. And I can assure you, I can guarantee you that if you were to work towards more authenticity, that greater prosperity will 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 be in your path, that things will start manifesting in the way that you desire it to, that you will be able to reach your goals more easily, and that you will have a greater sense of peace and fulfillment in your life. Um, the next line here reads, uh, but you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. So, um, you know, what we're talking about here is that on some level, there is a doubt that you have that you can actually create these goals that you desire or that you can actually make your dreams come true. It's almost like you've given up on it. There's part of you that, yes, you know, perhaps you, you're you making, you're saying, I want this and I want that, but there's a part of you that almost believes like it can't happen. And for you to be able to make it happen, it's for you, you need to be able to free yourself from this doubt and you can offer this doubt outside of yourself. You can release it. Um, this line here saying, I cast this burden to you, is talking about actually being able to release that that doubt, being able to, to give it away, uh, not holding onto it because perhaps what it's doing is that it's a shield for you or it's, um, you know, if it's your last bit of hope um, because perhaps one uses one's doubt sometimes to actually uh, help one. Uh, in the, you know, if you if you feel like you're in rough seas and you've fallen off your 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 cra- your um, boat, and you're holding on to uh, a piece of, of of wood that's just out there at sea, and this could be your doubt. It's like you're holding on to this thing, and it's helping you. It's kind of helping prop you up. It's giving you what you think is your um, means to survive. But it's actually not so, because very often, you know, obviously, our doubts are actually going to help uh, uh, hinder us. And perhaps if uh, if we actually let go of that piece of doubt, then what we're going to find is that something greater awaits us. Something that is more in line with what is on our path uh, is going to fall in line uh, with us, or we're going to fall in line with that rather. And we can find that we have a greater freedom that comes from this. So it's the last line here is show me your will and restore me to your faith and confidence. And I feel here it's more like you need to show yourself your will and you need to restore yourself to your faith and confidence. And if there is going to be doubt, if there's going to be some aspect of you which doesn't correlate to your well-being, then it's always going to be there. It's always going to be pulling away from what it is that you truly desire. So if you're in a situation where you're still wanting something, where you're still desiring something, um, then this, this, what, what, what we are saying here is that you're not in alignment right now with the, with what it is that you want. This is why you haven't achieved it. Well, this is why you're at, not at that point where you have it already. And so there must be something pulling you in a different direction. There must be something um, really taking you off in a different direction. This is the doubt that's being referred to right now. So it's up to you to be able to um, have that willpower to want it badly enough so that you can have it, so that you can restore in yourself that faith and confidence that you can actually have what it is that you desire and not be afraid of it and not be... Um, not be willing to settle for something that is not really what it is that you desire, but but kind of giving up along the way and saying, oh, well, this is what it's going to be. Um, I'm going to have to accept this as it is. Um, this card is challenging you not to accept it as it is. It's challenging you to say, well, you know what? I want to take things forward. I want to think, take things to the next level. And how am I going to be able to do this at this point? How am I going to be able to move forth and 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 get to that other side? How is it that I'm going to do that? And I think the way to do it is um, what I've been trying to say, but I've went in a roundabout way about it, is actually to kind of cast away 
any doubt that you have. Cast away anything that you've been holding on to that's not actually helping you, but you need, feel like you need it in order to survive and in order to, in order to be able to develop new ideas or to be able to find something new, to be able to, to find your power again, to be able to find that degree of empowerment that perhaps you've lost along the way so that you you know, th th and that's the reason that you haven't been able to find what it is that you need to find. So one of the questions that may arise here is, well, if I've um, become disempowered along the way, and this is what I'm working with, then do I need to work with uh, empowering myself or perhaps healing where it is that I've come from and, and what it is that has disempowered me in the first place? Well, I would say in the, with this card here, that is not a uh, consideration. This is you... Uh, you have that strength to be able to push forth and to be able to change this, even though you may doubt that. And um, it's just a matter of being able to weed out whatever doubts that you have so that you can move forth. The way forward here is what is important, not looking back, not, not looking back at what needs to be healed, but rather just looking forward to what can be achieved and where empowerment lies for you in your life right now. So that was a pretty long message and I hope that's helped you and that it actually, um, yeah, it actually helps you as you go along. If this card helps you and if you feel that as you go along in the next weeks that this has helped you to make some decisions, make some changes in your life, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be very happy to hear about any such progress. All right, wishing you all very well. It's lovely to be back with you and um, I am hoping that you stay happy, healthy, safe, and uh, yes, strong. Many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, we're asking, what is our weekly oracle guidance? What is it that we've come here to hear? And what is it that I need to know at this moment? What is it that I need to know at this moment that's going to help me to move beyond what I am right now? independence. The more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child, the more freestanding you become. Help me feed and love this inner child, dear Lord. So I feel this is such a relevant card right now because it's very hard for people to actually understand what independence really is. And um, this is not just referring to women or to, yeah, it's not just referring to women or to children, but actually it also refers to men here. Um, the idea of independence, what is independence really? And how is it that one can become self-sufficient? And one might think, well, I'm self-sufficient when I pay my own bills or when I'm living on my own or when I'm able to buy my the clothes that are on my back. But I feel like, you know, self-sufficiency here or like um, independence here, is, which is what we're talking about, comes from actually being able to know who you are and what your needs are and how is it that you can live a healthy and aligned, balanced life. And if you know how to give yourself that, then then you are independent. You're not independent if you are living on your own and you have all the money that you need, but you're still not able to manage your emotions very well or you are, are you're not able to to understand yourself and how you respond to various uh, situations in life. So the card here reads, the more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child, the more freestanding you become. So it's actually about understanding what is it that your needs are? How is it that you can fulfill yourself? What is it that you need as a soul, as a being to be able to feel well each day. Are you um, on a hamster wheel or are you running around looking for the next best thing? Or are you content with yourself? Are you actually content with yourself that you are feeling whole and fulfilled with yourself when you wake up in the morning and when you and as you go through the day and at the end of the day? So I would say a nice exercise to do which comes along with this card, um, 
is to write down how you feel in the morning and then write down how you feel right before you go to bed and do this for uh, as long as you like uh, between you know you could do it for like 14 days perhaps a month and at the end of it look at it and see what your feelings were and how well do you really feel you know it's like a, a measure of uh, how fulfilled you really are and ultimately it's a it's a measure of how independent you are as a being on this planet so this card here says, help me feed and love this inner child, dear Lord. But it doesn't give you really guidelines as to how to go about doing that. Um, it's, also, it's just a prayer to say, okay, well, this is what I need. I need to be more independent on the inside. I need to be more independent as a being on this planet. And how is it that I'm going to achieve that? And it's asking that this be given to you that you are helped to to do this by yourself and i think that one of the ways in which you can do this is with meditation and it's a meditation that's not with a goal of wanting to achieve something but rather just sitting down and meditating and asking oneself on which path am i am and, and looking at oneself just being able to identify where you're at in your life and how is it that you are operating in this world who are you and what is your 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 goal here or what is your reason here and what have you uh, felt until now about your experience here so it's about coming into oneself and actually being able to identify what is it that one needs this is also a card that I would say helps you talks about coming into balance with oneself in order to be able to have that independence you can't have independence if you are working all day and night long you can't have whether it's for someone else or whether it's for your family um, you can't have independence if you don't have freedom if you don't have the freedom to be able to follow how you feel at a given moment uh, you don't have independence if you are uh, 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 a prisoner of some kind of salary at the end of the month if that is what is so important to you or that is what is guiding you each month or that's what is pushing you to get out of bed every day independence is something that comes out of feeling whole and fulfilled and well when you wake up regardless of what your bank account looks like or regardless of where you are or what you're doing it's a feeling of being one with oneself there's a sense of um of being present with oneself being in the moment and being present with oneself and you know many of the older religions and the, and the buddhists also refer to this they refer to being in the moment being at one with oneself and in the moment and this is one way in order to practice that and this is one way in which one can easily find one's independence another way in which one can find it is also to be able to uh, just feel happy with oneself and feel really that life is glorious like things have the, the stars are aligned things are going well and to be able to feel that and know that not because an astrologer tells you that that's how it's going to be or because the it because the weather is going to be good today or because you're going to meet with a friend today uh, or because it's your birthday but rather because simply because you're here and um, to understand that and understand it deeply understand it deep within oneself on a level that it can't be shaken so it's to understand this on a, on a level that it cannot be taken away from you that you cannot be robbed of this this is something that you, you cannot be robbed of there's no you cannot be made a victim uh, of this because this is something that it's you and that you cannot have taken away from yourself so if you're feeling like on, on some level that you've been missing something or you've been or you've lost something or you're feeling not so happy with yourself right now and this card comes up um, then I would say that it's really important to go inside yourself and just 
be with yourself for a bit, not outside, not uh, playing a game with a friend or going online or going to, to, to work. Of course, you know, if you need to go to work, do so. But being able to take that time off to just go inside oneself and just be one's own company in oneself. And, you know, if you're not into meditation or anything um, of, like that, then like chanting or, or yoga even, or some kind of uh, mindful practice, um, like walking, then what you, you could actually just do is just lay down and close your eyes and uh, be while you're awake and just feel what it feels like to be with yourself for that moment. That is the simplest way of being able to do that. You don't need to do some kind of extravagant or elaborate method to be able to feel connected to oneself. And I feel that this card is really talking about doing that, being able to do that and being able to be present in a given moment. This is something that you could consider doing on a regular basis um, because I feel like this is a process. This is not something that comes at once, but it's something that one doesn't necessarily need to work towards, but a practice would make it easier um, to have this feeling of being able to be fed on in the inside, to to be able to care for one's... Um, as it talks here about caring for one's inner child. And what do you really mean when you say care for the inner child? I think here what it means is that being able to uh, keep that fire going, that joy that you had as a kid, that light that you have as a kid is just to keep that fire going, that l that love going and to care for that. That is what's important, you know, um, here. It's about being able to feel that and, and remember and and help it to burn brighter. So that is all that I have um, for you this week. I hope that this has helped you and I hope that um, this message has resonated with you. Um, yes, I'm wishing you all um, a lovely week as you go along and many blessings to you all. May you all stay safe and healthy and well. Look after yourselves. For those of you who have chosen the third option here, you're asking what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? What is it that we need to know as we go along in the week ahead. Um, an alternative question could be, what is it that I need to know? What have I come here to hear? here is called true offering. May I release the fears, illusions and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love, use me for the highest. I am yours alone. So this card, it, it for me it has more than one meaning here and talks very much about being able to love and be compassionate enough to be able to surrender um, so that you can be part of a greater good that is here to work with the planet, to heal the planet, to heal one another. And whether you believe in, in the various dimensions or, or what whatever plans may be out there, it doesn't matter because ultimately as you live here on this planet, you're part of the animal kingdom, you're part of the plant kingdom, and you're part of the of a human race. And you need to be able to connect with these people and to be able to give back. And a big part of who we are as we are here is to be able to be connected to that and to, to engage with that. And this card here is talking about being able to do that in a way that you are offering. You're making an offering, that, like you're surrendering to it, like you're there to be part of what's of giving um, in, this, in this world as opposed to simply uh, being there to take or simply being there to enjoy. So the first line reads, may I release the fears, illusions and addictions that keep me from true offering. So, you know, one may come up with a lot of reasons not to be able to make um, an offering 
to the planet or, or to uh, one's fellow human beings. One may uh, find many reasons. Perhaps you're busy, perhaps you have kids, perhaps you've got too many things to do, perhaps you're tired, perhaps you, um, you can't give it the thought, perhaps you're too busy in your head to even be able to give it that thought. And this card is talking about being able to release that, being able to release whatever it is that's distracting you from actually being able to give back, from being able to make a contribution here, which will ultimately serve you but it's serving also many around you. Um, it says, may I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. So this is a different mean, uh, message here. It's talking about actually being able to go with the flow, actually being able to re release oneself, to surrender to what is being shown to you and being able to have the courage to actually go with that as opposed to being holding on to your own plans, holding on to your own goals, holding on to whatever fears, illusions or addictions that are in the way of that and simply being shown a certain path and being able to go in that path. And I feel like it, with this card, um, many of you have come here to listen to this third option here. I actually, you actually belong to the healing professions, whether it's medicine, or whether it's a healing in some other kind of way. Um, it's about being able to, or if you don't belong to the, those those professions, it's about saying, well, perhaps you should look into that. You know, perhaps you should look into caregiving, or into being a paramedic, or into uh, working as a, as a nurse, or uh, or as a doctor, or as a healer on some level. It's about s saying here, well, I'm. I'm going to release myself into that profession in order to be able to actually give back in this particular way. Now, this is not the only way that you can give back, obviously. There are millions of ways in which you can give back to the world that we are in. But I feel, my feeling here is that um, that those of you who are listening to this are either in, the, in a healing profession already or are being drawn to it. It says here, use me, love, use me for the highest, I'm yours alone. So it's actually surrendering on such a great level. This card is suggesting to you that you surrender on such a great level that you actually allow yourself to be a vehicle or a tool of that only, which is of greater good. So it's asking you to um, just let go of whatever it is that is occupying your mind right now and occupying your thoughts, whether you are very caught up in something on social media or something in the news or something beyond your, be, yeah, beyond this, whatever it is, it's irrelevant right now. It's asking you to make the true offering or the true sacrifice, which is actually allowing yourself to surrender to the part that is going to show you how to move ahead. And I feel like, you know, as a human being, it's very hard to do this. I know I would find it really hard to only do this. I would like to personally direct my life as opposed to simply be led. But I feel like ultimately, you know, what happens is that one is ultimately led, in, you know, one is ultimately um, um, placed in a situation if you are supposed to work in a healing capacity to be able to assist in a particular way. You need to be at a certain place at a certain time and events will corral themselves in a way that you will be there or perhaps you're not supposed to move or perhaps you're not supposed to do something right now and then you know you'll be stopped from doing that you'll become sick or you'll need to be in bed for a few days and um, ultimately we are being guided ultimately we are uh, the tool <laughs> excuse the the expression but ultimately we are the the weapon one could also say, for the highest good and for to be able to create that and to be able to give back to the world in this particular way. Um, but this card is talking about actually being, doing this on a conscious level, being able to say, okay, well, I'm going to give up and just be okay with whatever comes my way and I'm going to be guided to go in a certain way. And when I'm guided to go in that way, I'm going to actually be able to do that. So 
I think that this card comes up when one has a lot of resistance to doing this kind of thing. I feel that this card doesn't come up to someone who has already decided to do this necessarily. Yes, there may be 1% of you who have decided to do this and this card's come up as a confirmation that this is how you should go along. But for many of you, it's more like I have my own goals and I have my own things. And then this card comes up and it's, it's telling you, well, you know what? Um, actually it's not going to go that way for a while so you just need to sit tight and we're going to show you how it's going to to pan out and what they are saying is you know have faith and don't panic when that happens don't freak out just allow yourself to go with the flow and really um, surrender to it really enjoy it enjoy the process as you're being led along if things are not working out in the way that one likes it to work out. If things are not actually going according to plan, one has the tendency to be upset. One has the tendency to put a, quite a lot of energy into uh, that uh, feeling of, okay, you know, things are not going what I, the way I wanted. I'm going to make it go the way I want it it to go. I'm going to make sure I get what I want. I'm going to get make sure that this works out the way I planned it to go. Out, um, out. And, and you know, if you're constantly going to be feeling or encountering resistance when you ha have chosen such a path, then I think it's really important at that point to be able to surrender. And I feel like uh, surrendering, what am I saying when I say surrender? I'm saying just sit back and see where you're being led. In which direction are you being led next? And if things work, are not working out, if things are not actually working out the way you want it, let's just say you wanted a certain thing, call it A, and A hasn't been given to you, but in fact D has been given to you. And this other thing that's coming your way, well, it's not really what you want, but, you know, and it's not really what you want to be associated with either. But perhaps then you still go ahead and do whatever it is that D asks you to do or whatever it is that D entails. And then when you actually have done that, you find that perhaps A wasn't what you wanted really in the first place or perhaps B wasn't either what you wanted and nor C, but actually you like D or perhaps it brings you to another level. It, it brings you to another point, you know, E or F or it brings you back to B or C or whatever it is, you know, it's, it's, um, it's being able to to say, well, I'm open, I'm flexible, I'm actually going to allow this to, to work out the way that I want it to, and I'm going to go ahead and allow it to, to do that. I'm not just going to be really resistant to saying, okay, I want this, and I want that, and it's, it's you know, I actually just need it to go out this way, and if it doesn't go this way, well, then that's the end of my life, and I'm never going to be able to do all the things I want to do, and I'm never going to have my dreams come true. If you have this kind of attitude and if you are in this kind of space, then I feel like you are really hurting yourself at the end of the day. And that, you know, this card's asking, well, be flexible, surrender to, to what's happening right now and allow yourself to be used for the highest good. Allow yourself to be uh, used in a capacity where you are going to be able to create uh, greater things and you might say well I have a plan already and that plan is to go ahead and create greater things and why can't I just do it what, the way I want to well there's a, there are reasons that that you can't right now perhaps it's not shown at this moment um, but just go with the flow for the moment and you're going to find when you do that you are going to be able to create much more and you are going to be quite fulfilled uh, with the pro in the process, you're going to be truly um, a, a soldier for the highest good and and being able to bring goodness in the world. And there's no greater feeling of fulfillment than knowing that you have done that. Um, giving, in a way, is so much more rewarding than receiving. And uh, in this case, it's talking about being able to receive the knowledge, receive the wisdom, so that you may be able to give completely and not hold yourself back in any way in the process of being able to give. I just want to read this one more time. It's, it reads, um, may I release the fears, illusions and addictions that keep me from true offering? May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love, use me for the highest. I'm yours alone. 
So I want you to actually feel what that feels like. When I read that, you could go back on the video and, and just listen to it again. But basically, how does it feel when, when I read that? Is it something that you're in sync with? Is it something that you agree with? Or is it something that you already have resistance towards? And if you have already resistance towards it, then I feel like this is something that you can actually work with as you go along uh, in the week ahead, as you go along now. It's something that, you know, you can work with. Uh, why is it that I'm not able to make a true offering of being able to surrender? And where is it that you are holding yourself back or holding yourself away from actually gaining uh the kind of fulfillment that you need or being able to make a contribution that you need to be able to make to be able to make here and um yeah i feel like um, some of the energy that's coming around this card is of people that i feel like there's quite a childlike feeling here uh it's like the stubbornness you know when you want something and you and you can't have it and your parent says well you can't have it it's like and you insist that you have to have it and then you know you throw your toys because you're not able to get it well uh, yeah I have quite a lot of that in my life right now <laughs> having a, a young daughter but uh, having said that this, this is you know this is that energy this is that kind of stubbornness that comes with it and um, it's like you know you are you fighting you're fighting as opposed to just going with the flow and this card is really talking about just surrendering going with the flow it's going to be able to be so much easier if you do that whereas if you're fighting constantly fighting for something like you know like let's just say as an example that you're not you know you 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 get really bad vibes from a place at which you work at and you just don't feel welcome there and you just don't feel like it's a part of the way you should be and then you know something happens to give you an opportunity to be able to go somewhere else don't resist it you know take it it's the path of least resistance um it might not be exactly what you want right now but it's a step uh into another you know it's a stepping stone it's a step into something else something that's going to work out for you and then you can create what it is that you want and um you know the card is couched as true offering and i feel like it's not so much about you know making a true offering to that which is around you but uh, as much as it is that it's as much it's also making a true offering to oneself and i feel like as i was saying that like i'm committing heresy uh, because it's not exactly the meaning of this card but um, I feel that that is equally important you know to be able to give yourself what it is that you need to be able to have that which is really important for your well-being is as important as being able to be used for the highest good or for to be used for for the the plan of the universe if one has to call it that I, I want to say one last thing here may release the fears illusions and addictions go ahead and look at where you might have uh fears illusions and addictions in your life identify what they are and work with them and release them regardless of whether you decide to actually surrender to this energy or not all right so i hope that actually has been a useful um reading for you and i hope that helps you in some way i hope that you can get uh, further with that I wish you all a very blessed week as you go along and um, yes stay safe stay healthy stay well it's really great to be back with you and I hope that you are all doing well blessings abound from Kismet Rising